Well, welcome back to another vlog. Um, today I thought I would just turn on the camera and we would spend a really nice day with each other because let me tell you, the sun is shining outside, it's blue skies. I'm really loving the weather at the moment. I don't know what it's been like for you guys in the UK. Um, but yeah, the last like four or five days, it's almost felt like spring. Um, there's been like a real crisp, cold air. Don't get me wrong, but there's been blue skies, sunshine near enough every day. I mean, I've mentioned this before and I feel like we can all probably relate to this, but the sunshine just puts me in such an uplifted and happy mood. Um, I just like want to get out. I want to get out for walks. I'm just... Yeah, I feel just so much more motivated. So yeah, I thought today we could take a little trip to Primark because it's been a minute. I've not actually been in 2022. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. Um, so yeah, I thought now it's approaching like the end of January. Hopefully they've got some new stuff and bits in. So yeah, I'm gonna take a trip to the Foss Park store. We'll have a little mooch around together. Unfortunately, my mom won't be joining us today, which I know, may upset some of you guys so I know you guys love having my mum in my videos um, but yeah she's actually sunning herself in Lanzarote currently all right for some so yeah I'm gonna actually miss going Primark with my mum today because I feel like she's like my right hand is that the saying my left hand <laughs> I think I've just made that up so yeah I thought first of all we could head to Primark obviously pick up a mandatory Starbucks because yeah I've just really not been having them in a while and I feel like a little treat today um, and then I've got so much to do. Um, I've got a bit of baking, I think, to do today because I've got some bananas in here. I was just like looking through my food cupboard and they are definitely not edible. Like, I wouldn't eat a banana like this. It's just too overripe for me. Um, let me know if any of you guys would eat a banana like this. But I much prefer my bananas when they're like just gone off green. So they've just first hit that like yellow colour. I'm really funny with bananas, but yeah, I do prefer them like a little bit harder. I hate them when they're like this. Um, so rather than chuck these three lovely bananas away, I thought we could make some like banana muffins. I was gonna say banana bread, but I feel like we totally killed that in lockdown. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like have a little look for some nice recipes with bananas to do. So we can do some baking, cause you guys know how much I love baking. Um, I've also got some scrapbooking to do today. I'm actually making um, Danielle a scrapbook for her birthday. Oh God, I feel like she might watch this video. I'm hoping she doesn't. But anyway, if she does, it is what it is. She's not, oh yeah, she might see it. Danielle, if you do watch this video, please just switch off because it's a surprise. So yeah, I need to do some scrapbooking today because her birthday is fastly approaching. And so I just thought I'd take you along with that as well because I know you guys appreciate me showing you how I do mine. Um, I just think scrapbooks are such a lovely gift. Honestly, if anybody had to gift me something and they asked me like what I would like, um, I would always say something like homemade, something just that's, do you know that's got like meaning to it? Um, whether it's something simple like a photo frame with like a cute picture of us in, something that holds memories, something I can keep forever. They're the kind of presents that I really like. And I think a scrapbook, um, Danielle made me one actually many years ago now. I have it in my cupboard and honestly, I reach for it from time to time. Like if I'm ever just feeling like I want to reminisce or anything, I'll grab it and read through it. And it's just so lovely to have their memories in a book rather than on a phone. Um, and yeah, just kind of flick through it. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, what do we think to my hair today, by the way, guys? Because I actually use my air wrap big nozzle, which I don't really use. I reach my hair out pretty much like every time I do my hair because I always use it to dry. I love the smoothing tool, which is like the brush tool. Um, and don't get me wrong, from time to time, I do use a small like curling nozzle on the air app and pink curl it all. And I love that. But rarely do I use this like big one, the big one, <laughs> the big um, curling wand. And I'll tell you why it is, because I feel like when you first do it, you'll get this amazing big blow dry look, but it soon drops out. Um, as you can see, like this side is definitely dropping out. This will be straight by the end of the day. I just don't know if I'm into the um, blow dry look, but yeah, let me know what you think. But anyway, guys, before I do head on out, um, I just very quickly wanted to show you a new app that I've been absolutely loving just lately. I feel like whenever there's a new year, I always kind of like want to 
get rid of maybe bad habits or pick up new hobbies or, you know, I feel like a new year is always an opportunity to kind of reflect and give yourself goals. You know, I don't really like to say the word resolutions, but yeah, just kind of like reflect on yourself and maybe, you know, give yourself goals for the new year or maybe like get rid of habits that, you know, are not great. Um, and one thing I really, really wanted to start doing more of this year is reading because honestly, I used to read so much. Um, and I feel like sometimes nowadays with the likes of TikTok, Netflix, it's so easy to be sitting and scrolling on your phone and not really taking anything in um, or, you know, be watching TV that sometimes is not always, you know, the most educational or engaging. You're just kind of like watching for the sake of it. Um, so this part of the video is actually very kindly in collaboration and is sponsored by Readly. Now, if you don't know who Readly are, let me just break it down to you. Readly are essentially a digital magazine and newspaper online app. Um, so you get it all on the comfort of your phone or your tablet. And yeah, you basically sign up to a monthly subscription, which is $9.99 normally. However, I do actually have a link which I will leave in the description so if you do want to check it out you can get two months free and you will then have access to over 5,000 different magazines and newspapers which is just so amazing um so I'm just going to pull it up on my phone just to show you how it works um there's some really cool features of the app that I want to show you oh god what am I on <laughs> I was looking through um can you see that let me just try and focus it in Sorry guys, I was trying to focus it and then I pressed the off record button. Um, so I've just got my camera and just um, put my phone here so it's more in focus. But yeah, as I just pulled up my app, this was the last thing I was looking at, which is carrot cake cookies. So one thing for me personally that I really enjoy about the app is, as you guys know, I'm a bit of an avid keen baker. I love baking in my spare time. It's something I really, really enjoy. Um, so obviously I can search for all the baking magazines and cooking magazines um, and I love looking through and whenever I come across a recipe for example such as this which is the carrot cake cookies and I'm like oh that looks insane I really want to bake those and um, what you can do is you can bookmark so this little button at the bottom if you press that it then says bookmark saved then if we just go back on to the app you go into bookmarks at your top so if you go on my content then bookmarks Everything that you have bookmarked and saved will be here. So like I say, if you are someone that's really into baking like myself and you know, you're know you looking through all the baking magazines and see some recipes you like, rather than having to go back on the magazines and flick through to find the recipe, you can just bookmark that page and they'll be saved. So yeah, essentially all your recipes will be saved there, which is amazing. If we just go on to the actual Readly homepage, so this is the Discover page, you can see all the different titles and magazines and newspapers that there is to offer so for me personally it brings up things that I'm interested in such as interior design so the ideal home house beautiful I love reading those um, Vogue is one of my favorites um, but then as you can see there's also papers too I do love flicking through a paper I think it's nice just to you know catch up on the world and know what's going on so yeah there's all different papers there such as like the Guardian the Independent um, and another thing I like to do as well is sometimes if I just want to search for a magazine in particular you can go on the search button so as you can see I've typed in like baking fashion cooking and um, you can just type in what you know you're interested in and it will pull up all the titles related to that so for example if I do cooking as you can see it brings up all different cooking magazines so yeah that is the Readly app in a nutshell guys I honestly couldn't recommend it enough it's just so nice just to get in the bath and actually do some reading rather than just be like I say scrolling aimlessly through my phone and just not really taking anything in um so I will of course leave the link to Readly in the description bar which like I say if you download it you'll get two months completely free you can cancel at any time um so you're not tied in or anything Thing. Um, but if you do carry on going, it will be $9.99 a month, which is amazing for what you're getting out of this app. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I am now going to get a scoot on. I'm really not loving my hair today. I'm kind of like looking in the viewfinder thinking, what have I done? It's just so volume for me, um, which I'm not really used to. Um, but yeah, anyway, oh God, the lighting's going to go terrible. I feel like this house, one thing I've really realized since, um, living here for the many years I have lived here now is the lighting is so bad and I was saying this to Mitchell I was like do you know like when we look for a house if I that's really bad as well let me move it over here um if I come across a house that the lighting's not good like we won't be moving and he's like what we can't just go buy a house if the lighting's rubbish but 
not just for YouTube purposes, but just in general, like the amount of light that a house can let in. So for example, this back room never has any light because it's north facing and I want light to come in my house. You know what I mean? I want a well lit room and stuff. So yeah, sorry, that's really probably not anything you're interested in, but I just thought I would share that because it's one thing I really have established with this house, like because of the facing of it, with it being north facing. And so this way is north where the decking is. The lighting's just terrible and it doesn't let a lot of light in my house. Like my house is constantly dark. Um, so yeah, I personally do think that's something that's really important when buying a house, but <laughs> Mitch obviously does it. Right, just got around to my mum's because I'm just sorting out some eBay. Look at all of these clothes. So basically, for those that you don't know, what I do with like anything that I no longer wear or, you know, it doesn't fit me quite right or just don't ever think I'm going to wear it, I basically give it to my mum um and then she has her own ebay account it's just like a little side thing for her to make money um like let my mum keep the money and stuff for it um so yeah it's just like a little side hustle for her and this is where she keeps everything obviously we do take a big bag to charity as well because there are things that you know you just can't really sell or whatever so uh, yeah it kind of comes here and then when we'll just sort out like what's okay to sell and then she will like box things up as well and then just take them down to the charity shop but yeah needs a bit of a sort really but yeah just had to come and do a few bits. Such a lovely day, guys. I'll go and see if I can um, see my cats, my Wolfie and Bear, for those of you that followed me when I used to live here. I always like to come and see them when I pop back. So let's go and have a little look. Okay, guys. So I've just got to um, Primark Cross Park. I was supposed to show you the cats, wasn't I? And I had all these parcels in my hand coming down the stairs from mum's. I'm not feeling my hair at all today. Oh, do you know when you do something different and it's just not you? And I just feel like it's so like poofy and just big. And I'm just like, oh. Um, but yeah, anyway, I was supposed to show you the cats. Didn't do that because I had so many parcels that I was coming down the stairs with at mum's. And... Yeah, I just kind of walked out the front door. But anyway, I've just arrived at Foss Park Primark. It's actually really quiet, which makes a change. I feel like because I came here a lot before Christmas, and you guys know how it is before Christmas, I feel like even from October, October onwards, the car park was just busy, no matter what time of day I came. Um, but yeah, it's really empty. So I'm looking forward to having a little mooch. It's Tuesday today as I'm visiting, so I'm hoping that they've kind of like filled the shelves from the weekends because if anyone's ever been Primark on a weekend, I just feel like it's a no-go. I feel like it just gets absolutely struck down. Um, and yeah, especially this one in Foss Park, it's just always awful at the weekend. So yeah, fingers crossed they've got some newness in. I really want to treat myself to some nice PJs. I feel like I've got so many fluffy PJs, which don't get me wrong, I love, and they're so comfortable, but they're a little bit hot. I don't know, I'm going to see what there is um i didn't actually pick up a starbucks guys do you know what i don't even know what's happening with me and uh, i've just not really like i said i think i said this in another video or did i no i was saying this in my london vlog which won't actually make it online that's a whole other story basically went london with hazel last week um i supposed to be vlogging but we ended up drinking which i don't really drink a lot and we just went out for like a brunch and stuff and had a few drinks but we ended up getting a bit carried away with ourselves and yeah the vlog ended up being a disaster so that didn't make the internet um but yeah what was my point oh in that vlog i am um, actually had my first starbucks of the year and i was just saying in that vlog how i think because i am sensitive to caffeine now i don't enjoy starbucks as much because when i get a decaf it just doesn't hit the same obviously it's weaker and stuff so yeah i've just not really been feeling it to be fair i think as well like iced coffee is always something that you enjoy more in the summer right so yeah hopefully i change and i well to be fair i'm not really bothered it is what it is isn't it but i do enjoy your starbucks but i'm just not fancying it lately anyway i am rumbling now and this angle is awful so I'm going to get myself in and see what they've got. I'm hoping they've got some more home bits because I picked up a ton of home bits from the Birmingham store, which was just out of this world, amazing. Um, but yeah, I kind of needed a few more before I show you in a haul. So yeah, anyway, let's go. 
Okay, so I just thought I would do a voiceover for everything that I saw in Primark because it was a little bit nervy doing it on my own without my mum. So as I walked into the store, it was predominantly active wear and yeah, just sportswear, hoodies, that kind of thing. So I did spot a few new active wear sets in this kind of like khaki colour with a print on. Um, then, oh, I come across the new seamless sets in different colourways. So you guys may remember that last summer they brought out all these gorgeous seamless sets so there's two different variations of a top I think so there's this like tank top which I love I honestly wear for every day style it with jeans um and then they also have like a long sleeve top and then even leggings or shorts honestly the quality of these is insane so so good like genuinely some of the best legging sets that I own so I really really recommend you checking them out and they're also super affordable and um, then I spotted some more kind of like active wear sets they were in like a mole color they kind of like reminded me of some high-end ones online then there were some really nice sweatshirt jumpers um oh I also saw this really nice kind of like cropped gilet some gorgeous mom jeans they were in like a stretch fabric though so I didn't get them um, there was another gilet in like more of a brown colour. Again, it was kind of like a crop length and that gorgeous khaki ribbed long dress. Then this for £30, I swear it's a dupe of my Zara black bomber jacket. There's some really nice bodysuits. Um, they were some like leather trousers. Um, I think these bodysuits are only about £6. And um, they're kind of like Zara dupes. These coats are definitely new in. Well, I haven't seen them in my Primark before. And they were £30 or £35, £30. And yeah, I thought these were really nice. Okay, then we move on to the Ugg dupes. Um, I'm not sure what I think of Uggs, guys. I just don't know if they're me. Um, so I didn't pick any up. But yeah, they do have like the mini length and then the ultra mini length. Good old Primark giving us some dupes if you don't want to splurge. So yeah, maybe if you like Omni Narin, you could pick yourself up some from Primark and style them and see if you like them first before you splurge because I know they are quite expensive. But yeah, they had so many different ones in. Also seen these Zara dupe boots, which are lovely and obviously a fraction of the price. And then also so these black ones with this like um, faux fur bit on the top that were really, really nice. Oh, these ones, there's only one pair of them short length boots, um, but I thought they were kind of like Chloe vibes. Um, and then they also had loads of these gorgeous black Chelsea boots with like different cleated soles. Is that what it's called? Cleated soles? I thought these were really nice and good quality. Um, bag department wasn't really saying too much, I'm not going to lie, but I just kind of thought I'd do like a little overview and show you what there was. Um, but yeah, there wasn't too many. These ones were nice. I think these were only like six to eight pound and they did them in like coral, black and cream. I think I will show you the price. Yeah, six pound. I thought they were quite nice. Um, where else are we going to move on to? Oh, pyjamas. This was by far my favourite section of Primark on this visit. They had some stunning pyjamas and these sort of like satiny silk sets were only £16 for the top and bottoms. And let me tell you, they fit a dream. So they do it in the champagne colour, the brown colour, and I'm pretty sure there's like a burgundy colour as well. Um, and I also picked up these luxury chenille socks because they are just life um oh this color was really nice sort of like an olivey is that what you call it like an olivey green i think there is a, a natural color for it but yeah and um, they also did the satiny colored satiny colored the satiny fabric pajamas um in prints like this gorgeous polka dot print i think these were a little bit more expensive but yeah again they did it in a champagne and then a black one I did just opt for the plain ones, but yeah, I really, really liked these as well. Also noted that they had these fluffy sets in, so yeah, if you want to be nice and snuggly and warm and turn your heating down and save on your bill, then these would be really nice to snuggle up in in the evenings. Then just thought I'd show you that they still have the velvet plush leggings in, £6 bargain, and honestly, these are life. Um, homewear section wasn't really saying it too much in comparison to obviously Birmingham. And um, they had a few nice bits in, this vase in particular. I think this was £8. I thought that was really nice and looks kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, there wasn't an awful lot in Leicester's homewear, which was disappointing. They need to get better. But um, oh, I also noticed these large throws, and they are so soft and they're only £12.
So I am obviously back from Primark now and back at home. Um, I didn't pick up the camera as soon as I got in the car because my mum rang me like, I've got a little rebay thing for you to pay. So if you're not already back in Nottingham, can you go and pick it up? So yeah, I had to then go back to my mum's house, pick up some more eBay stuff. Then I had to go post office and do like the whole lot. And yeah, then it's pretty much brought us to here, which is 4.38. Where do the days go? Honestly, I feel like I've blinked and the whole day has gone. I feel like I've not even done what I need to do. Um, um, so anyway, it's actually Tuesday today and Mitchell comes around on a Tuesday. So he's just at the gym. I normally do go gym with him, but because I'm just so busy and I've got a bit of work stuff that I need to finish up. Um, and also it's that time of the month. I'm due on. I'm feeling a bit... <laughs> and I know sometimes it's just better to get up and go and exercise like I did yesterday, but... Yeah, I'm just not feeling that great. So um, I'm having a night off. I'm going to try and get myself to the gym tomorrow. Like I said, I just want to get some work bits and bobs done. And I just want to get my pyjamas on, cook some dinner. I'm so hungry. I've been running around all day. That I've not even had my lunch, which is so annoying. Um, I've had like wheat bix and hot cross bun. And ugh, it's just awkward because I've got my lunch in there that I could eat now. But because Mitchell comes around on a Tuesday and he eats quite early with me, like I normally wouldn't tend to eat until like seven. So I'd probably just eat my lunch now and then have my dinner later. Um, but yeah, like he's going to be here in 20, 30 minutes and we'll be cooking dinner. So there's literally no point now, which ugh, I might have a little snack. What have I got? But anyway, thought I'd update you with Primark because I've not even updated you with how it was in store. So not going to lie. Not great. I always say this every year, but it's just, it's like a switching of seasons. So it's been Christmas. They're still getting rid of like Christmas stock. They haven't really got anything new in, apart from like maybe a few coats here and there, active wear. But even the active wear, I don't feel like it's new age. Like it's nothing exciting. So yeah, there wasn't loads in. I think the shoe department was saying bits. Like the shoes were really good in there. They had like the little, Oh, one second. Honestly, I feel like I can't do anything without getting a WhatsApp from someone, a phone call. I just feel so overwhelmed and stressed right now, guys. Um, I'll sort that in a minute. But yeah, what was I saying? There was loads of like new boots in there, heels. There was just so many shoes. And also the pyjama section was really good. I went in there just to get myself a nice new pair of pyjamas. Um, I've been wearing these like snuggly fleecy ones lately. And as much as I loved it, by the time I get in bed, I'm so hot in them. So I wanted some like silk satiny ones that I can sleep in. So I picked up some of them. I'm not going to show you the whole haul now because I did end up getting two bags. So I'm actually going to do like a dedicated Primark haul. But I am going to switch into my pot. For the can't speak my pajamas. So let me just show you the pajamas that I got. If they're on the top, that is. Oh yeah, they are. So you have saw from the come shot of me that I did. Um oh, where's the top? Typical. Oh my god, I think that's not fell out in my car. Honestly, this day I feel like it's just not going well for me. Oh, the top is there. I'm getting myself into such a huff and puff. So I ended up picking these ones up in the end. I never know what size to get with Primark because um, especially in pyjamas, I like to have them comfy. I don't want them skin tight. Um, but then, yeah. Anyway, I got a size 10 to 12, which is a small. So like wide leg bottoms. They are so cute. Um, I feel like they look really like looks and expensive. So the bottoms were eight pound and then the top was eight pound again. So 16 pound for a set and both in a size small. So yeah, I really like them. So I'm going to get straight away changed into them. Put some cozy socks on as well. I picked up this pack of cozy socks. I really like the chenille. I never say this right. I really need to learn how to say it. Um, but anyway, I got these luxury cozy socks, £2.50 and some like brown and beige ones. So I'm going to put these on now before we do anything else. I still need to use up my bananas and I'm going to do them muffins after dinner maybe. Um, but yeah, let's get cozy. Okay, so I'm back and I've just put these pajamas on and oh my goodness, gals, these genuinely feel like the nicest pair of pajamas I think I've ever had. Not even just from Primark, just like ever. The quality of these, like, I can't even stress to you how like silky soft they are. They fit an absolute dream as well. I'm definitely glad I got the small. Extra small would not have even fit on me, I don't think. Um, I feel like you could have even got a medium maybe in the top. But yeah, it does fit really nice. And these look lovely. These are those pajamas where... Do you know when like, you've had a bit of a self-care evening, like you've took your makeup off, shoved your hair up, but you still want to feel nice, like you want a nice pair of pyjamas on that make you feel nice? 
these are those. So I, yeah, I really recommend. I'm going to actually show you just in my full-length mirror so you can see. Um, that might be a little bit easier for you. Please excuse all that mess there. Um, yeah, so these are what they look like on. I've just put a scrunchie in and they're kind of like a little bit tucked in actually in the fluffy socks I've just put them on too to keep my feet warm but yeah I really really like these um like I said and shown in Primark they had these in different colors so um oh I'm not really too sure there was like a purple I think maybe a brown and then there was like some patterny ones too but yeah really really recommend oh and I also really like the um ribbon bit on here yeah so comfy anyway let's um I need to put that away don't want to show you any more of that and yeah I'm going to get the dinner out and start prepping that I think Okay, so I just had to dig one of my old recipe cards out because for some reason, I feel like I keep missing a recipe card with HelloFresh lately, um, which is fine because you can get it all on your phone. Um, but yeah, I do like the recipe card to have a look at. So this one's a little bit longer to prep, so it's 15 minutes. Um, is it that long? Oh, I feel like it's 20 minutes to prep maybe. Probably you can do it a bit quicker, but it's like 30 minutes in the oven with it being a pie. So I'm going to crack on with this now, but it's a truffle chicken, bacon and mushroom pie with honey butter, glazed multicolored carrots. So I'm not going to show you how to this because I'm pretty sure I have done this in a vlog previously um but just a heads up if you order hello fresh or if you've never had hello fresh and this is on the menu you need to try it simple as like this is genuinely one of the best pies I think I've ever ever had um so yeah I'm so excited for this tonight um so I've got my recipe bag the meat's in the fridge we need to take that out so I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse and yeah we're gonna have this um I've just picked up like one small mash do the um, pre-packed mash? Like, these are so good if you just can't be bothered to make mash. And I feel like they taste really nice too. So I've just got some of that as well. I mean, I'd be happy to have it with carrots because I feel like pie is very thin on its own anyway. But you know what Mitchell's like. He wants a bit of mash with it. Grab myself a can of Coke. Oh, I stupidly left these in the car and I feel like Mitchell... Mitchell reckons they froze and then they've like defrosted because they don't taste that fizzy anymore. It's so annoying, but yeah. Anyway. Let's crack on with dinner. Mm -hmm. I'm looking up from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food Put your favorite music on all the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of We can spend all day in bed I get the wine and the corkscrew You don't have to do one single thing You don't know how much I want you Looking at you makes my whole world I thought I'd just show Mitchell's because mine went to shit. Um, but yeah, that's the pie. Mash and then carrots, which is so nice. They've literally just got butter, honey and... Mm, so nice. So got to, I'm going to sit over here because I think it will go everywhere. Okay guys, so I am back in the kitchen now. Um, dinner was done and as promised, we're gonna be doing some banana, I was gonna say banana loaf muffins, but they're just banana muffins. Um, I didn't really fancy making a loaf. Like I say, I feel like in lockdown, I overkilled making banana bread. So I've got these bananas that, like I said, I'd normally chuck away, but we're gonna utilize them, make some banana muffins. I think I'm gonna add in some chocolate chips as well. I've got white chocolate or milk chocolate, so I'm gonna have a look and just play around with the recipe. Um, what recipe have I found actually? So it is, da, 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 da. no, that isn't the recipe. Ah, easy banana muffins with chocolate chips. So you need unsalted butter, all purpose flour, baked brown, baked, <laughs> packed brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, sea salt, um, three bananas, one large egg, 
vanilla extract and then chocolate chips if you want to add them in so yeah it seems pretty self-explanatory and quite easy to follow so yeah hopefully it goes down a treat not a banana like cake style things in ages so i'm gonna put you on a time lapse and let's fingers crossed it's a good recipe if it is obviously i'll leave it in the description bar for you to follow Okay guys, so the banana muffins are out of the oven. I've already sampled two warm and I've got to say, they are so good. They're really, really tasty. The only thing is, they've not really like rose that well. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like high rise, like big muffins or anything. Or if I didn't put enough in the cupcake case, case, cupcake case, cupcake case. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I didn't put bicarb in, which maybe I should have, but Oh, do you know what it is? I feel like sometimes I'm going to put bicarb in cakes. Like, you can really taste it. I don't like it. So, yeah, anyway, I'm happy with them because the taste is so, so good. Um, the white chocolate goes so nice with the banana. So, yeah, I'm happy that I put them three bananas that I was going to chuck to some good use. Um, so, yeah, I really recommend. So, it's a little bit later on in the evening now. I think it's about quarter past 20 past 10. Let me have a look. I'm not too sure what the actual time is. Yeah. Oh my God, 17 minutes past 10. I am just on the sofa, which I need to now move and get myself into bed and start doing like bedtime preps. Um, but I've just been finishing up some work on my laptop because Mitchell left at about nine. I need to stop bitching my eyes. I've just been sat stroking my cats. And as you guys know, I do have a cat allergy. Um, and obviously the worst thing you can do is then start like itching your eyes because then they go red and bloodshot. And that is what is happening now. Oh my goodness, my cat is so cute. She's literally just sat next to me. Let me just show you. Why is she this cute, honestly? Why are you this cute? She just absolutely melts my heart. Sat on my laptop. Anyone else's cat do this? They just sit on anything that looks so uncomfy. Um, but anyway, I have got my long hot water bottle. So I've got really bad tummy ache and this is just so amazing. To be honest with you, even if I don't have tummy ache, the hot water bottle comes out because it's just so comfy and just relaxing. I just blooming love a hot water bottle. So anyway, I'm going to move myself now, get to the bathroom and I'm just going to quickly show you and run you down my um, nighttime routine. So, yeah. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. It's actually my ensuite. Um, I just thought, like I said, I'd quickly run through some of my nighttime skin. Um, so... I'm gonna just go straight on into this. So the first thing I love to use is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Um, I also have this one that I got in a set that I got for Christmas. This is the first time I've been using this and I actually really like this one too. The smell of it is so nice and fresh. So when I double cleanse, I'll do that first then go in with that after. Um, Cream of choice is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I do do a night version of this, but I'm just currently using like the day one and just doubling that up as a night one. Um, I about ran out of this. Um, this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. As you can see, I really, really do like Elemis stuff. It just suits my skin and yeah, I get on with it to be honest with you. I would like to start having a look into maybe a Reproxo and um branching out a bit but I do just have to be careful because I do have a little bit of sensitive skin and then two tools I've been using in my skincare routine just lately is this one um which is I don't know what are these even called is it a gouache gouache um I've basically seen them on TikTok a couple of girls well a couple there's quite a few girls using these and um, doing like various routine videos with these but they're essentially like supposed to just help 
reduce puffiness um you know like they can give you like more of a defined jawline it's supposed to help with wrinkles and stuff so have a little look on tiktok for videos with these but yeah they look insane like some of the results i'm not too sure if they were um i've only been using it for like a couple of weeks but i'll let you know oh my god i'm going <laughs> told you it's the cats oh i also use this elemis toner as well after i've um cleanse and i've also got a eight hour this is a hand cream because i'm getting a bit conscious of my hands too by the way always always use a fresh facial cloth whenever you're cleansing um i had a comment before like oh my goodness um you should never use these they're so bad for your skin um they are full of bacteria they're only full of bacteria if you're going in with like not a fresh one. <coughs> oh my god sorry that's so annoying only not fresh if you're not going in with a fresh one every single day so just make sure you're using a fresh one basically um oh my god i'm actually really looking forward to washing my face so hopefully get any of these cat like allergy things off it so yeah let me put you in a time lapse cleanse done um i do normally use my four row device but that's actually on a charge so yeah i haven't actually used that today i do like using that because i feel it really helps with your skin texture um but anyway we're looking all right a bit of red um i used a different product like a face cream this morning that i don't normally use and honestly my face went bright red so yeah i was definitely like allergic to that now i'm going to take my Elemis toner and then i'm going to go in with my oil um and do all this stuff on my face <laughs> hopefully it works um i'm a bit lost for like where to put you because i don't actually have anywhere down here by the way they're like my old face cloths that used to go in the um wash so that's why they're just chilling on there in the background but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my oil in this now i don't really know how i can do it like <laughs> with my camera in the hand but yeah basically what i do is i obviously when you've got your oil on it glides so I do like this with the chin, obviously like I say it glides better, and then I'll do like under my eye. Um, but yeah, if you go onto TikTok, there's actual like routines that you can do, and it will show you a little bit more better than what I am. Okay, so my skin is literally glowing right now. I always say, if you don't look shiny and don't look like you're glowing like a moon, then you're doing it wrong. Like you need to be literally dripping in product and glowing before you go to bed. Um, because then you just know that like in the morning you're gonna wake up, your skin's gonna be super hydrated and you know it's got all night to kind of like sink into your skin. Next thing I forgot to actually tell you what I do um, is I've been using this lash and brow enhancer. It's from Hairburst. I don't know if it's any good because I've only been using it for about three weeks. I definitely feel like I have noticed some kind of difference. Um, but yeah, I just really wanna work on getting like nice natural lashes. Um, so that I can get them LVL'd and just have them nice and fluffy. So yeah, I've been popping this on every single night. But apparently, you need to see like... Sorry, you need to see. You need to wait six weeks before you see results. So yeah, I'll let you know how I feel after six weeks maybe. Okay, so I've just got in bed. Um, I always feel like I have to talk quite quiet when I'm in my bedroom. Because I am actually attached to a house. And the walls are honestly so thin. Like I feel like I can hear everything. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm in bed now. My cat has just joined me. Let me show you because it's literally the cutest thing ever. As soon as she hears me go to the bedroom, she's literally at my feet following me and then she'll get straight in bed with me. Look. Hi. You know it's treat time, don't you? Boo is such a clingy cat. Like, Buddy will come in as well and have his treats, but Boo is the cat that will stay by my side near enough all night. And yeah, she'll literally just like get in bed and sleep here with me. Um, Buddy does sometimes, he's like more of an end of the bed kind of person, but yeah, Boo is definitely just someone that likes to sleep with me at night. Um, I think I'm actually waiting for the treats. What treats have I got for you? Oh, is it these that you want? Do you want some dreamies? I'm full for you. It's so funny. I feel like on the back it says we're allowed 20 of these a day or something. Um, and there was a TikTok that was like FaceTime in the RSPCA. It was like a cat and it was like FaceTime in the RSPCA because my mum only gave me five dreamies and it says 20 on the back or something. <laughs> it's so funny. Look at them, they proper love it. 
So yeah, anyway, I'm going to cut the vlog short here before I end up rumbling and chewing your ears off. Do you know what? One thing I've noticed that I feel like I don't even know why I'm picking this out and telling you guys. When I was brushing my teeth earlier, I feel like my teeth are getting worse. Um, and when I say my teeth are getting worse, as you guys may know, I had composite veneers. Oh God, my um, memory's going to die. Let me just delete some stuff. <laughs> One second. Right, I'm back on and I've got memory. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, when I was brushing my teeth earlier, I actually noticed it in the vlog the other day, but as you guys know, I had composite veneers done. I feel like it was late 2018. So I've had them on. Oh, was it 2019? I feel like it might have been like December 2018. Okay, so let's say 2019. So 2019, 2020, 2021. Oh my god, so we are getting on for four years. Um, and if anybody knows anything about composite veneers, they are not long lasting. They can last anything from like three years to five years. And I really feel like I'm at that stage now where I need them either redoing or kind of like fixing up. Because like, can you see? So these two are fairly straight, but then this one here, it's, it's like really um, steppy now because it's obviously filing down because it is like a temporary thing. It's like a temporary coating over your teeth almost, like a filling kind of substance. Um, and yeah, it's just making me a bit conscious. I'm like, my teeth just don't look level and they're all like a bit steppy. They just don't look as fresh as what they used to as well. I was looking at old videos, funnily enough, earlier, just like on my channel, like when I first had my teeth done, I was like, oh my God, they looked so good. I mean, some people would probably think they were too much because I do feel like probably the first six months they almost need like a little filing down because they were so straight and a little bit fake looking maybe but i mean i quite like them um so yeah i need to go back and get them done it's just so costly the thing is with composites what's that oh that's my phone i have it um set for 11 to remind me when to go to bed the thing is with composites is they're so costly like they're a few grand i mean i don't know how much they are nowadays i think i paid like two and a half maybe for them and that was like three or four years ago and you think if you're paying that every four years or something it soon adds up so yeah it's like do you get real ones like real veneers do you not but then obviously with real, real veneers what scares me is like having your teeth filed down but then i kind of think well Surely it doesn't really matter if you're always going to like upkeep them. I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. It's something I need to think about. But anyway, guys, I am going to shut up finally. I feel like once I start talking, I can never shut up. Um, but yeah, I really, really hope you have enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, by the way. Stick around for the next vlog. I'm going to make it a little bit more organised. I feel like this one's just been a bit all over the place again. I've just had such a rush day. Um, but yeah, anyway, take care and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.